left with no other choice, Ana Yokabi chases swarms of locusts besieging her farm. Where she lives in Baraka, a suburb in the capital Nairobi, aerial spraying of pesticides is out of the question, as they could harm people and livestock or contaminate drinking water. We have experienced a lot of losses. We have children, we have relatives who live here, and we do not know how we're going to feed them. If you look at the farm, there is nothing. Even the cows are going to die. There's got to be something the government can do. Last year, authorities managed to contain what was regarded as the biggest locust infestation Kenya has seen in 70 years. But the type and timing of the locusts invading communities this year presents an even bigger challenge. They are immature adults, which are very ferocious when it comes to feeding habits, because they tend to eat a lot. In a day, they can do two grams, which is twice their body weight. And uh, that is the risk which we are looking into, because we are looking at the season beginning soon. And when the season begins, the farmers will start planting. And if they are left to un uncontrolled, they can now affect the, uh, the, the, the farming activities in the region. While the situation remains dire for farmers, others see an opportunity to make money. Locust catchers sell a kilogram of the dead insects for 50 cents to non-governmental organizations looking to turn them into livestock food. But industry experts warn selling contaminated locusts could backfire. As an organization, we don't advise the general public or any other person to harvest either sprayed or unsprayed locusts. This is because of the nature of the the locusts in terms of the movement. So you never know if they were sprayed earlier or they have not been sprayed. While the locust swarms threaten crops, livelihoods and food security, these farmers say they're determined to do all they can to cap their losses. Adeshewa Josh, TRT World.